YouTube. Welcome back. It's Nurse Cat. If you do not know me or this is your first time to my channel, you guys can call me Cat. Um, so today I just wanted to talk about a subject that is very, very interesting down here in South Florida. So I was reading this news article and it was talking about how um, because it's hurricane season especially, uh, two years ago in 2016, there was a hurricane that hit Florida called Hurricane Irma. And so uh, there was this nursing home in Hollywood, which is like 15 minutes from Miami, 15 minutes from Fort Lauderdale, so in between there, um, that had gotten hit by the storm. And so they had generators, but I guess their transformer person type of thing sorry if you guys can't see me but my thing I want to know you guys' thoughts 12 patients die three uh four nurses four nursing people staff get charged for manslaughter um I guess as a you know they have to blame somebody right and I want to know if you guys were in that situation what would you do like who would you call um i know for me i would definitely have called my mom once i saw that the power was out or even the fact that these patients died don't make no sense to me honestly because i have never had a patient die on my shift thank god um and if i did have a patient die on my shift did i have a patient die 
No, it wasn't my patient. And so the fact that I never had a patient die on my ship, that means that I'm doing my duty as a nurse to keep everyone alive. And if I would have seen all these patients having these similar complications, I'm going to call somebody and let them know. How can the patient die on your shift? That means you were doing many things wrong. You weren't making rounds, whatever. Um, they said that the patient had, one patient had asthma related um, complications. Another patient had hyperthermia or overheating. Oh. It just doesn't make any sense. And the fact that another nurse from a hospital had to come to this rehab and actually call the fire department. Like, the nurses didn't know that it was hot in the building. I just, none of it is making sense. And then later in the article, sorry guys, I'm going to link the art article down below for sure because I want you guys to read this. Um, that they tried to cover it up. So not only did they, did they get charged with manslaughter, they tried to cover it up. So then they got um, charged with trying to hide stuff so it's like what the hell i just none of it is adding up to me um it's a very tragic situation as a nurse even if you're a new nurse this tells you be on your guard because you have to have to have to have to um know what you're doing make sure you're doing things the right way um if complications like this do happen which is like a rare event that a hurricane will come and knock out your air conditioning but if something like that happens there's plans implemented implement implemented to um, prevent these things from happening I just don't understand guys I really do not understand I'm trying to figure out did they not get in contact with their director of nursing did the nur nursing supervisor not know what they were doing the administrator like what's going on the whole situation is a hot mess dot com <laughs> and i don't know i really don't know if you don't have that person in your life that is a nurse and that can tell you what to do it, it is harder i'm not gonna lie but you should still have someone someone that you can talk to that's in this profession even a teacher um i always recommend having somebody to reach out to in case, in case of these times when you just don't know what to do um what would you guys have done i just really really want to know and the fact that these nurses are going to lose their license they're probably not be able to work and possibly even jail time jail 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 time it's going to be so hard for them to find a job after they'll never be able to work in the, the medical field again it's just like i don't know i kind of agree that they should lose their license but then i don't i feel like because it takes us so much to get our license i don't feel like it's fair for them to take it away so easily i feel like there should be things training and things put into place i'm not saying that they should pardon them but i should feel like they should get that training be given like a suspension or whatever and then be able to work because that's so that's hard imagine a one single parent and they lost their license because of a complication of something they just maybe didn't even know they just didn't know what to do so um yeah my name is nurse cat uh subscribe if you haven't comment down below your thoughts on this situation manslaughter can you guys believe it um thumbs up and i'll see you later bye